Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, we are on Formula 1 again at Monaco. We've qualified last and we're just getting off the grid now. So, into the first corner. What can we do? Try to stick it on the inside. Have to run over the curbs a bit, but I think we'll get away with that one. Battling the car, the uh, 1.05 update is out now and um, yeah the uh, the car is definitely handling much worse than before uh, so really had to fight it this time really slow through the hairpin it is a first gear corner as you can see I'm all over the place on the yellow tires not very grippy Take a while to get up to speed. I think it's about lap four before I can actually get going. So, uh, stuck in behind the Toro Rosso, taking a few liberties with the curbs. But, I think we'll get away with it. Through the swimming pool. Into Raskas now. Very tricky corner to get right. Already a bit of a train forming behind the Williams. Monaco looking really nice though. A little bit too much on the brakes there. Turned in really early. Board shot. Come around now to the hairpin once again. Not a big fan of Monaco. I think it is one of the worst, uh, the worst tracks on the calendar. And I would like it to go somewhere else, but it's Monaco, and uh, a lot of people wouldn't be happy if it was off the calendar. Missed my break in there. Very scary to turn into that corner. There's no. Um, well, it is. It's just a barrier. That's all it is. There's no leeway whatsoever. Hitting the uh, which side there a little bit. Slight damage to the the front wing, but nothing too bad. The uh, Williams is really feeling wear and tear this race. Not as many changes as uh, previous years, you can make in the car, you're limited in the parts. Things have to last a lot longer, so... Losing ground. The car ahead. Through the tunnel. Sounds really nice in here. That Alfa Romeo is all over me. Just don't have the downforce to uh, stick it into these corners. It looks smooth, but it's it's slow. Run a little bit wide, almost clipping the barrier. Back over the start, finish straight once again. DRS is now enabled. But my tires are finally heated up, and this is where I start to get a little bit quicker. Just enough to keep the Alfa Romeo at bay, and I. Trying to push me along. Don't blame him. Uh, 
I don't think there's any part in this race where I get that uh, corner right. Car's starting to slide already. But we're going for a, uh, a long first stint. I think we go to lap 11 before we change the tires. 11 or 12. On the way slightly now. This circuit's really narrow. And this corner, like, I, I never know if I'm going fast enough or not through there. Because it feels like, um... If you accelerate too much, you just hit the barrier, so... Uh, just try to keep it going straight. She turned in. Didn't go over the curbs too much there. It should be flat out. But it's not in the Williams. The Williams just doesn't have the downforce to... To make the car stick there. Another lap done. About a third of the way through the race now. The Alfa Romeo's caught back up with me. Had a few back corners. I also had to go down to clean fuel mix because even at this stage I was like minus uh, 80 percent on a lap. Oh, getting loose there. Oh, we missed it. We definitely missed the quarter there. That's a beautiful shot though. Car does look so nice. It's just a shame it handles like a sack of potatoes. But we're catching the tire Ross, so no DRS this lap. Hear the uh Yeah uh, whatchamacallit? The wheel guns going there is the, some of the cars, I think of the Mercedes and the Ferraris have already been in for a pit stop. Just sneaking around. Really strange to see a Formula 1 car so slow. Here we go, into the tunnel once again. Cars glistening under the lights. Heavy on the brakes. Oh. Almost collected the tower Rosso, but pulled out of it. Tires not as grippy as they were. Losing ground. You can see the Mercedes in behind now. I don't know what car we're following right now. Oh, there we go. So there's the Alfa Romeo. The two Mercedes coming out. I think that's Hamilton and Bottas fighting with each other. Oh, they're going side to side. Oh, don't touch. Who's gonna get it? We're still going. Oh, there we go. Number 17, or 77, sorry. I think that's Bottas, isn't it? I can't remember.
He held it. As we're still fighting the Taro Russell here on the Alfa Romeo. Taking a completely different line through there. We just don't have the grip. Oh. Taro Rosso jumps into the pit. Now we have issues now with the Alfa Romeo. DRS open. And the Mercedes all coming after me. Let's go on board the Mercedes for a bit of a lap here. The much fresher tyres. Trying to get past the Alfa Romeo as well. You can tell that the Williams is definitely slowing this all down. By us, I mean me, because I'm the one driving it. The Mercedes sounds so smooth up there, does it go for it? No, oh, this doesn't have the room. Shot that's Ferrari. Charge the clerk. All in. And the two Red Bull cars. Back on board with the Williams. We're really struggling for grip now on the tyres. The engine's given up, the gearbox is given up. I think by this point we've lost, I think it's either fourth gear or seventh gear. I know by the end of the race we lose two gears and our speed is just gone. You can already tell that we're really slow through here. Up 10. So we're halfway through the race. So we almost collect the wall once again. There we go. Onto the main street once again. Start lap 11. The Mercedes starts to put pressure on the Alfa Romeo. Won't have to get past them very quick. This might be it now. Nope. Still no room to get past. What will they do? It's massive tree in front of them. If there was ever a chance of an undercut, it's gone. Stay on board with the Mercedes here. Go through the swimming pool and all into Raskas. Oh, he's doing a brilliant job of all the detail this year on the circuit. ERS is open, goes to the outside. Is there any room? Oh, he holds it. That's a risky move. Both Mercedes is past now. And now the pressure's on. Doesn't take long for Bottas to get up behind me as well.
still on how many laps now is this 12 laps these tires are getting really close there Hamilton them behind Surprised I didn't get a call to uh, just, you know, let the Mercedes go. I'm still going. I think this is lap 13 now. They try to go around the outside. I got nudged there, so I just held my ground. It's not like there's been a few controversies in the last few races with drivers getting uh, hunted off. Bottas was all over the place there, trying to overtake me in a place that I had no chance again. And he's lost the place to Hamilton. Now Hamilton's right up behind. Look how close that is. Ram wide into the tunnel. Hamilton's going to have a run here. He Oh, he tries to send it down the inside. There's no chance that happening. Absolutely no chance. So, bit of a collision. I think we're equally to blame there, both of us. We go in. Get our wheels changed. And the train is gone. My tires on. Your front wing. Go. There's our teammate in the background. I've got the red walls on now, so we can go a little bit quicker. Or so we thought. Until we get the call that the engine's showing wear and that we're missing the gear. Or second missing gear. So we're missing fourth gear and we're missing seventh gear. So we're just way down in pace now. Yellow flags are out for Lando Norris. As he retires, I move up a place. As we almost collect Kimmy there. Kimmy going in for a late pit stop as well. I don't know if he had collision with Lando or if it was a scheduled pit stop. But you can hear our car now. go on board. You'll hear it skipping the gears. And it sounds really, really rickety. Hmm. I'm not sure if the replay is broke. But uh, I wasn't getting fourth gear or seventh gear when I was racing. Oh, a little bit of a collision.
Maybe hear it better here. Hear like a crunching noise. Or like uh, one of those old wooden um, musical instruments, the one where you just like slide the stick up and down it. So yeah, having issues. Slowly see Jimmy closing in. So we're running out of steam. Oh, very high up on that curb. Just no grip. No mechanical grip. Tires are just gone already. No speed. Oh, it's just, just like William season. Oh, the car sounds horrible. Approaching lap 18 out of 20. Race will soon be over. brakes coming in for the hairpin they're going to be through here another few times oh Kimmy had caught up a little quicker here not very fast almost coming to a halt New lines through that uh, chicane. I really just don't have the grip or the downforce for this circuit. Try to throw it in, it's just not happening. Off Romeo getting a little bit closer now. Come into the last two laps. We were almost catching the cars in front before everything went wrong. I'd say if I had another five laps, we might have been able to catch up with them. Because they're going a lot, lot slower. Because they're all like, uh, they're in a big train. Train there, right? Eh? 
Rujon, the Haas, R. Russell. They're all just trained up. And there's me. Three corners behind now. Kimi Raikkonen right behind me. Try not to nudge me. Um, don't know where the second Tara Rosso came from. But I think there's a second Tara Rosso behind us. Yeah, there he is. He must have had to go into the pits or something. So, final lap. Final corner. Across the line. So, there we have it. We got... 16th place, which isn't too bad, considering we started 20th, so. Yeah, let's have a little look at the standing, see where we are. Good day today, let's have your take on it. Was it a good day, Claire? Was you it? You cutting your way through the field during the race. Uh... It didn't look... Oh, uh, there we go. Apparently, we had lots of power. Close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? Um. Yeah. Would be nice. You had a close battle today, didn't you? He's a thorn in my side. Do you think you were lucky not to end your race with that crash? Um. There we go. We need more downforce. Great. Well, that's everything. I don't think the team's going to be too unhappy with that. Did alright. Here's the breakdown. I think we have won our rival. Robert. Even Kimmy. It's some uh, some points. Reputation with the team quite high now. Even Ferrari liked us there. That's good. Maybe because we held up the Mercedes for so long. Looks like one of your rivals has also been invited to a historical event. Yeah, that's great. This could be a good opportunity to play up your rivalry for the press and expand your reputation. So we're sitting in tenth, sixteen points. We're not going to win the championship, no chance. The uh, instructors were sitting in seven. It's not too bad. Toro Rosso have yet to finish in the points this season. That's that's crazy. So, next race up. Let's, uh, replace Gearbox. Um, sure. There we go. Quite a penalty. That's good. And up next is Canada, one of my favourite Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, we'll have that video very shortly. Um, hopefully not as big a gap between life gets busy sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. Did leave a like and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Bye.